Welcome back to more State of the USMNT, guys. Today we have a very exciting, entertaining video. We have a transfer rumor mill, a transfer video coming through today. Today we're going to be talking about Weston McKinney once again. It seems like we talk about him every single video. As a matter of fact, we just dropped a video like three videos ago and we dropped a video right before the transfer window shut as well about him potentially moving to uh, Tottenham. So yeah, definitely uh, Weston McKinney's been on our radar and on our videos a lot lately but today we're going to be talking about Wes McKinney potentially moving over to Arsenal potentially being swapped Arsenal wants to send Granite Shaka and they want to receive Wes McKinney from Juventus in order to basically throw a wrench in Tottenham's plans according to some articles here now I don't know how honest these articles are and I don't know how truthful these are but there has been rumors about Wes McKinney potentially making a move last time last transfer window nothing happened and uh, it just seems like these uh, these rumors are coming up and up and up and there's a lot of smoke being tossed at us and when there's smoke like i've said in the past there's a damn fire and there's definitely it definitely smells like there's a house burning down in my opinion but before we get into that amazing video guys because i mean i'm really excited to get into it i'm going to be talking about some giveaways that i'm going to be uh planning to give away soon now there's two giveaways i'm going to be giving away i'm sorry i haven't been keeping up with the giveaways as of late i had an issue with the first one finally sent it out and i'm hoping a meal out there you definitely enjoy that jersey man you definitely deserve it but now we're going to be talking about the new jersey i'm going to be giving away and the other giveaway the new jersey i'm going to be giving away i decided that uh, i'm going to be giving away a chelsea jersey a 2021 2022 jersey the original they're up-to-date season jersey i'm going to be giving that away to one lucky follower one lucky subscriber one lucky supporter of this channel you already know what to do man if you guys want to get that jersey if you guys want to earn if you guys want to win that jersey for free hit the like button smash the like button actually smash that subscribe button as well share the content so it reaches more usmt fans out there follow us on our socials and just give us a shout out on social media and we'll definitely uh, throw you into consideration to potentially win that jersey and giveaway number two is going to be a fifa 2022 copy for free on us i know how exciting right and the way to win this is do the same you got to smash the like button smash the subscribe button if you haven't already comment type in whatever you want anything positive about the usmnt uh share us and follow us on our socials because we do uh we do post a lot there and if you do all that, you're in it to win that jersey and you're in it to win that free game for free. So do what you got to do to definitely help this channel grow and uh, we got you. Now, with all that being said, let's get into this banger video today because honestly, I'm really excited to talk about this potential swap. I mean, uh, it's an exciting option. So let's get into it. So the way it's going to go down is I'm just going to share my screen with you guys. That way we can break down. We can react to this. We can hash this out and talk about the details. Here you go. Boom. Do you guys have the screen there? All right, let's get into it. Now I have two articles here we're going to talk about. We're going to read this one, The Sun. This is from The Sun, and it reads like this. Arsenal, wow, plot to ruin Tottenham transfer plans by offering Granite Shaka and swap deal to Juventus for West McKinney. That's crazy. And the other one we're going to read is actually from UVFC.com. Report Juventus hoping to swap West McKinney with Arsenal midfielder. Wow, well, they're hoping to swap him. So they're, I don't know if these people are putting words in their mouth, but it seems like uh, Juventus are definitely anti to get Shaka in the uh, in the locker room. Let's come back to the first article here. Arsenal plot to ruin Tottenham transfer plans by offering Granite Shaka and swap deal to Juventus for Weston McKinney. Now, I highly doubt that Arsenal is trying to sell or send one of their best players in Granite Shaka, who in my opinion is a leader of that midfield. I highly doubt that they're trying to send him to Juventus to receive Weston McKinney just to spite Tottenham. I, I highly doubt that's the situation. And and if they are, then it definitely explains why Arsenal's such a bad club, right? <laughs> Don't take it in offense, any Arsenal fans out there. But in reality, I think that Arsenal's doing it because they're trying to get younger in that midfield position, right? Granit Xhaka's fantastic. He's, I think he's he's a captain for Switzerland. So he's good, man. And he has that chippy attitude where he'll get in your face. He'll, he'll, he'll tell you things and he won't back down. I love that about him. And Weston kind of reminds me of that. So I could see how Arsenal's probably saying Weston kind of reminds us of, of Granite in a certain extent, to a certain extent. Let's kind of swap him. You know, he's a little younger. We could probably develop and mold him a little bit more to our style. That's an option. I think that's where Arsenal's trying to go if this thing does go through. I highly doubt that it's Arsenal just trying to spite Tottenham. But Tottenham, I mean, there's been rumors that Tottenham's been after West McKinney for a while now. As a matter of fact, we dropped a video last transfer window before it closed, the summer window before it closed, talking about how potentially Tottenham was coming after West McKinney. And I truly believed it. A lot of people were like, no, it's not going to happen. A lot of people thought it was going to happen. I was one of those people that thought it was going to happen. There was a lot of smoke. I thought it would. I thought the deal would have gone through because, well, Weston, he's very familiar with... Uh, with Tottenham's sports director. And that's because that sports director that's currently at Tottenham right now, I believe he's a sports director, um, was a sports director at Juve when Juve brought in Weston McKinney 
and I think that uh, sports director is really high on Weston. So that's why I thought that that link could have connected there, that, you know, that bridge is there. So it made sense, but nothing really happened. And I think that's due to the fact that it was too late in the transfer window. But anything can happen. The January window is opening up in January. And I think it's, I think, I think Weston's going to make a move. Not sure if it's to Arsenal, but I think he, I think he's out of Juventus. And I'm going to go on a limb and say it. I, I'm predicting it. This transfer window, Juve is, uh, is moving on from Weston. The reason why I believe that Weston's on his way out, well, one, I, well, actually a couple reasons. One, um, I mean, the, the midfield is stacked at Juve. There's tons of players there in front of him. Like I said, it's a dogfight to even get 15 minutes. And those 15 minutes, you definitely need to come out there and you need to, you need to showcase your skills yourself and what type of player you are, you know, and, and, and why this team should definitely believe in you. But Weston hasn't really truly done that as of late with Juventus. He got the start against Napoli and we actually made a video about that. We broke down his performance against Napoli. Go check out that video. We dropped it four days ago. We talked about how he only completed like 17% of his passes and was really off. And also that whole situation with uh, him cracking and breaking uh, COVID protocol and him getting sent home from the, the from the USMNT camp. That was another situation that showed that, you know, he's still, he, he's, he's hitting some rough patches in his career, in my opinion. And I think he'll be okay, but I, I think that teams like Juve don't really want to take a chance on players like Weston right now. Maxi Allegri did come out recently saying that there's some players that need to get better and one of them is Weston. So that's kind of Maxi Allegri throwing some shots. At West McKinney. And I believe in the next article, they talk about how this move might potentially happen because Juventus is just not really happy with Weston. We'll, we'll take a look at that. But yeah, this is this is the rumor right here. Um, Arsenal plots to ruin Tottenham transfer plans by offering Granite Xhaka and swap deal to Juventus for Weston. I mean, if it happened, I wouldn't be against this move, to be honest. The only thing is that I just, I really don't trust Arsenal as a as a club. I know right now they're giving a lot of young players, you know, a chance to shine. They got the, that that uh, Rowe kid, Smith Rowe, Balu Gun as well. You refresh my mind, guys. Throw some Arsenal young studs, starlets that are currently getting some playing time right now at Arsenal in the comment section. I mean, they give them a chance. You know, they give the youngsters a chance to play. That's the only thing that I that I like about that. Aside from that, they're not a well-coached team. Now, this is where it kind of gets a little interesting and it takes a turn for, for the worse for West. The Gunners are aware that Juve are interested in Shaka as they look to bolster their midfield following their poor start to Serie A season. Yeah, Juve hasn't been doing that great. I think they have five points in a couple games and I think the leader right now in Serie A has 15. So yeah, good luck catching up Juve. But it says that Juve are interested and Gunners are aware. It just doesn't make sense because Juve brought in that Lucatelli kid, Manu Lucatelli from Sassuolo. Uh, I guess he was supposed to be like their next Pirlo and nah, nothing's really been going on there. Shaka is a center defensive mid. Lucatelli is a center defensive mid. I don't, I don't, I don't see what's going on. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe they don't trust Lucatelli. I mean, he is on a loan, I believe. I think it's on a loan. He is on a loan. Maybe they don't trust him enough. Maybe they're not getting enough out of him. They're not getting what they wanted, what they expected. So now they got to bring in a Shaka to hold it down. That could be a case. Who knows? But let's, let's move over to the next article. Report, Juventus hoping to swap Weston McKinney with Arsenal midfielder. As proven by the horrific start of the season, Juve's midfield department remains a major problem. Manuel Lucatelli's rival subtly improved the squad, but due to the lack of natural regista, the Euro 2022 winner has to operate as a deep line playmaker. So basically has to receive the ball from the center backs and just create from there. That That's pretty damn tough. But Andrea Pirlo did it, so I'm assuming Manuel Lucatelli could do the same. The former Sassuolo man hasn't embarrassed himself in the process, but his deep role is preventing him from supporting the team up front, basically being a box-to-box -box midfielder. So it makes sense. You know, he has to receive the ball and then kind of just stay back a little bit, start from there can't go forward because he's playing so damn deep. Therefore, the Bianconetti could once again attempt to enhance this position as soon as it, as soon as January transfer market opens. According to El Calcio Mercato Web, it via Tuto Juve, uh, the management is interested in Arsenal's Granite Shaka and is willing to offer Weston in exchange for his services. Jeez, so this is coming from Juve FC, guys. Okay, so yeah, I'm not making this shit up. This is directly from the website. September 21, 2021 is a couple days ago. I know I'm, I'm a little late, but Juve is interested, shit. <laughs> the Switzerland international almost joined Jose Mourinho's Roma during last summer's transfer market, but ended up renewing his contract with the Gunners. So the guy was about to move and he didn't. So this could potentially happen. This could potentially be, be become reality, guys. West and McKinney could potentially be swapped for Granite Shaka and West could potentially be playing for Arsenal. Sheesh. And here we go, guys. This is what I've been talking about, how West and McKinney just hasn't been able to convince Max Allegri. On the other hand, 
McKinney has been unable to convince Max Allegri thus far and Juventus are no longer eager to maintain his services due to the incidents outside of the pitch, including one with the USMNT. So Juve, yeah, they picked up on it. Ironically, like I said, we made that video talking about how Juventus, you know, Weston basically needed to, to take every single opportunity he could and, and ride with it, not take it for granted. And it seems like he's definitely taking some for granted and Max just doesn't doesn't take that shit well. So damn, dude, I, I thought this was just a rumor, but there's a lot of a lot of details here, a lot of facts coming through that could potentially make this make this reality. So those are the two articles, guys. These are just reports. We're going to wait to see if anything else pops up. But as of now, there's tons of facts here, basically saying how Maxi's, I mean, he's not convinced with Weston. That was Weston's job to convince Maxi since Andrew Pirlo left town, new coaches in, new, new head honchos in. You got to convince them. Weston couldn't do that, hasn't been able to do that yet. So it looks like they're trying to move on from him. And Tottenham could potentially be a destination. Arsenal's trying to hijack that by offering Granite Xhaka. And it has been seen that Arsenal is actually eager too, as well to let go of Granit Xhaka or isn't eager to retain him as a matter of fact since Granit was going to leave to Roma. Now why do I think about this potential move? In my opinion I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it at all. This kid's young. He's 23, 22. Moved to Juve, had an amazing start, but just hasn't been able to click with this coach. And in my opinion, I don't think it's it's Weston McKinney. I just think it's this coach. This coach hasn't been able to get Juve going in general. It's not just Weston. I mean, Juve sitting at 12th, 11th spot with five points. So that's on, that, that's on Maxi Allegri. Can't get this team going. I think it's time for, if this does happen, I, I wouldn't mind it. I think it's time for Weston to leave. Whether that's to the EPL, whether that's to the La Liga or somewhere else to... to to the Bundes, I wouldn't mind it. But there's been reports time after time that Weston's being linked to the EPL. And I mean, that league fits him perfectly. This guy is a scrapper. This guy will get in your face. He'll throw some elbows. He'll throw some legs out there. He don't care. He'll get in, he'll, he'll get in your face, man. That, and that's what I like about him, that type of swagger. And he could definitely hold it down. He's tough. So the EPL makes a lot of sense for him, whether that's Tottenham or whether that's Arsenal. I mean, at this point, he's 23. He's kind of an established player. He's good. He's good enough to start. Should definitely go to a team where he starts. And if if you're basically swapping Shaka for McKinney, then that definitely means that McKinney might potentially start. But that's basically the uh, rumor in the works, guys. That is the swap in the works. West McKinney for Shaka. Do you guys think it's a good idea? Do you guys think it's going to happen? West McKinney for Shaka. Shaka for West McKinney. I mean, both players kind of are the same. You know, they're physical. They like to get in players' faces. Do you guys think it'll happen? What are the possibilities it'll happen? Let me know in the comment section. Remember, if you guys want to be in it to win it, if you guys want to win that free jersey, that Chelsea jersey, if you guys want to win that free copy of FIFA 22, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share the content so it reaches more fans out there, more fans of the USMNT, and we convert more soccer fans over to the USMNT. Share our content and follow us on our socials if you haven't already because we do post there. And guys, comment because we definitely, I, I'm very interactive. I like to interact with you guys in the comment section. So comment away. So yeah, that's basically it. This is a report for now. We'll keep you guys updated on social media and here on YouTube if anything else occurs. And we might also be dropping an update video on Ricardo Pepe leaving over to Europe because I guess there's a rumor that he's potentially making a decision in two weeks. So that's damn exciting. This is Mar from State of the USMNT. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe and like the channel.